Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to attempt a single eyeshadow declutter. <laughs> I realize I have a really hard time getting rid of single eyeshadows and it's a really difficult thing for me to do. Like I go, I declutter lipsticks much easier than I declutter single eyeshadows. I love my collection and it was way bigger in the past, but I rarely touch these. Um, I am very into sparkly shimmers that are very unique to indie eyeshadows, but nowadays I really just use my palettes for my mattes, for example. But I know that there's some gems in here and I just need to reduce the amount of eyeshadow I have to make sure that I use them correctly or like effectively. So what I'm gonna do is go through all of my single eyeshadows and um, yeah, decide what to keep. It's difficult, uh, but we're gonna try it. Now, um, these are all more or less used, but if you're interested in anything that you see, please contact me on Instagram or um, send me a DM and we can uh, figure out uh, something nice and I can send them to you. I'd like to rehome these because they're, these are really the best of the best that I've kept in the, over the years and um, I don't wanna throw them away. I hate throwing away things. So let me know if you're interested and um, yeah, we'll figure something out. Now, let's start with neutrals because that's what I have in my head the most. I'm really into neutral eyeshadow these days with a sparkly topper. So let's start with this one. I'm gonna start with the mattes because those are really the uh, ones that I, I don't know, um, I have that I don't really use a lot. And all of these are just so beautiful <laughs> already. I have such a hard time. Um, these are my more uh, neutral neutrals. Uh, you can see that they're not too warm or too, um, or too cool. For example, these two are Fawn by ABH and Tan Lines by Makeup Geek. I'm not really sure which one I want to keep. I know Tan Lines have ser has served me well in the past, but Fawn seems like a more neutral uh, look, so I'm gonna get rid of Tan Lines. Ooh. Um, These bigger pans that you see are Nabla Cosmetics, whereas the smaller pans are, as I said, different brands. Maybe I should have done it in a t-shirt, but it's not that warm anymore. And these are like this beautiful in-between shade. But for example, this one, which is here, and these two are quite similar. And these are Hayride by Makeup Geek and Latte by Makeup Geek. I think I might be able to get rid of one of these and keep just uh, this from Nabla, which is Narciso. Or do I just get rid of the Nabla one because it's a bigger pan and annoys me as a bigger pan? Let's do that. This one right here, which is a little bit warmer. You can see immediately that goes quite warm and it's Freckles by Colourpop. Um, I already swatched this. Yeah, this was fun. <laughs> And then we go immediately into the darker ones. And these will not swatch very well. Oh, sorry, that just got really... This is Mocha by Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek. Here I have Dark Roast. This will not swatch well. I can see it immediately that it's quite a bit uh, hard band. Let me pick it up with a brush. See, these are beautiful in between, like, like neutral neutrals. They're not too dark. Uh, they're not too warm, they're not too cool. And for example, do I need Colored Rain Matriarch? This is from the, this is Dark Rose from Makeup Week. This is from the Safari palettes by um, Colored Rain that I depotted. This is Rich Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And as you can see, these are quite similar. If not, this one is a bit cooler. But I think I'm gonna get rid of this one and this one and just keep dark roast. This black is Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I know I love it. It's the best black um, I've ever tried. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. So the mattes are set. 
look at how beautiful this is a beautiful little palette and I could actually put it in a smaller palette and use it on a daily basis right let's move on to the shimmers I didn't mention it at the beginning but I am just going on an unprimed skin I clean my skin with some wet wipes and in between I clean my fingers and my I dry my uh, arm and, and clean my brushes on just a towel the shimmers here are already quite special as in I already threw away or decluttered not threw away a lot of the more like um, regular shimmers oh so beautiful this is a glam shop marble called crystal then we have Nabla Water Dream, which is a Fallout Central, but it's one of the most beautiful wet look toppers I own. This I think is a pressed pigment from Neve Cosmetics, but it doesn't say on the back, it rubbed off. And it's a beautiful, cooler tone. I have an issue here because all of my Glam Shop shimmers are in these palettes. And here I have a ton of, of, of neutrals as well as in here for example even though I don't see any similar color here um, do I have any similar color here I have a few um, right there but it's much more yellow for example this one is much more pink for example yeah they're different all different also different definitely nothing here that is similar in this Glam Shop palette. There might be something more similar, but even then, um, this is more pinky, and we'll see. Actually, it it is gonna be similar to something here, probably. I don't see anything similar, so these three can stay. Then we can move on to these more middle toned. This is a nice satin that I can get rid of because I don't wear satins. Oh, this is Mac Woodwinked. I don't wear satins. Then I have uh, Nabla Glitz, very pretty, but I don't really see myself wearing it. I have Orpime, this was a five pen, wow, five pen palette that I got uh, in a boxy charm quite some time ago that I depotted. And this is gorgeous. This is a beautiful mid-toned bronze. I think I'm gonna keep that one. Um, here I have Grandstand from Makeup Geek, gorgeous rose gold. And my question is, do I have it in the new formula again? I don't think so. No, these are not, this is not it. Uh, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I think I wore it on my wedding. This is Morphe 35M Hot to Trot that I kept because it's a darker brown. But, let me think, because I might actually have something like that by now from Glam Shop. Like, what is this one? This one is cooler, or more neutral, I guess. And here, put these away because these are all colorful. And here I have lighter ones, or with different shifts this is much cooler this is like cold cold smoke i think it's called but they all have sparkle whereas this one doesn't but i think i'm gonna keep it it's such a nice color and then here we go a little bit cooler with color drain amazon basin which is one of my favorites look at that beautiful shade and um, this is truffle glitter by anastasia beverly hills also beautiful. I thought, oh, this is going to be too dark. I'm never going to wear it. But look at that. Is it similar to this one? It's actually better than the Glam Shop one. Why don't I use these? And this one here is a similar concept, but it has a green sparkle to it. I hope you can see it. I'm working with natural light because I haven't put up regular lights or like artificial lights in this room. So I'm going to keep these. Look at that, not too bad. Six are gone already. And I'm gonna keep these for my neutral neutrals. I'm gonna swatch while we're at uh, shift, uh, we're at neutral uh, shimmers. Also, uh, this one right here, which is from Makeup Geek. 
and I think this one actually can go. I've been keeping these square pans because they were sent to me and for sentimental reasons. I love the brand, uh, and but they, yeah, I don't know. They don't exist anymore. This is Starry Eyed by Makeup Geek. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. And this one is more of a peach. I'm, I'm gonna swatch it with the peaches, even though I already see it's quite similar to Grandstand. Who are you? You are in the spotlight. I'm gonna wait and see and think about this a little bit more. Now let's move on to warm neutrals. As you can see, I have wear way more warm neutrals um, than neutral neutrals because I used to love these much more when I was I don't know, buying more singles, I guess. And, but I am now not using warm neutrals a lot. I am using, if I'm using warm neutrals, I will be using my Natasha Donella bronze palette and that contains already these that are very, very warm. So I'm not really into these shades anymore. So let's see what I can get rid of. I think up here I have a lot of uh, transition shades that I love and um, had used in the past, but I don't really use these shades anymore. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this guy, which is Beaches and Cream, kind of a panned and used eyeshadow. And this one right here is Mirage. I'm gonna keep that one just to have one shade. And then here we have another peachy transition, which is Peach Smoothie. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one too. I don't know, I don't really use transition shades anymore. It's an extra, an, an, an additional step that I don't find necessary. And here we start going into shades that I can wear in my crease happily. And these are all actually not that warm, or like not that red and orange in tone that I can still pull them off, uh, or like that I'm still interested in wearing. I said, honestly, they're all so similar. <laughs> I don't know that I need all four of these. And then, wait, this one is also so similar. It's a little bit lighter. So the lighter one I'll get rid of. This is Buffed by Makeup Geek. I mean, there's a, ni there's a nice neutral palette coming out of these, uh, of this declutter for sure. Um, just not for me anymore. Of these four, let me see. What do we have here? Sora. We have Frappe, we have Bake Sale, and we have Nabla Kids. I think I can probably get rid of Sora. It's a bit more orange and keep the other three. That I am okay with. Let's go to the darker, more orangey and red mattes. And there, there's gonna be a lot of overlap here, even though I already did like quite a bit of a declutter some time ago. So I don't, I, I'm hoping that I'm not gonna have that many Oh, a brush hair. That many overlaps, that's beautiful. See, they're all different. Can you see it? <laughs> I can see it. They're really not all different. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think this one's Petra from Nabla, yeah. Whereas here we have Cinnamon. That is one of my favorite shades. And here we have the more red tones. that are also very similar. I don't need all three of these. I have Blazing by Anastasia Beverly Hills, Apple Spice by Makeup Geek, and Popular Demand by Colourpop. I think I'm go only gonna keep Popular Demand and get rid of the other two. Oh, this is going so well. I'm so proud. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit uh, ridiculous to say, but for me, this is a lot. I have one orangey, this is Inglot number 300, one orangey matte. This is beautiful, love it. And here are the more, the darker ones that are Feathered by Colourpop, Jamaica Rum by Glam Shop, and Inglot 298, if I don't break them. And let's see how these look next to each other. Hmm, they all look quite different, actually. So I'm gonna keep those. Happy with that. Let's move on to the shimmers. Shimmers, these are all 
as I said, quite special already. So this is a pressed pigment by Neve Cosmetics, which is called Liquid Mirror, and it's like so sparkly. This I think is Magic Act by Makeup Geek. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. Yeah, it's not really a shade that I use anymore. It's quite a nice yellow gold, but it's not something I use a lot. This is Diego from Colourpop. Ooh, beautiful, way warmer than I expected actually. Then we have this guy right here, which is similar and beautiful. This is Versailles by Neve Cosmetics. So I'm actually gonna get rid of the Colourpop one, I think, because this one is so gorgeous. Um, these two I pressed myself from Loose Pigments and that was why the performance is so amazing. Then we go into warmer ones. This guy is Sunset by Anastasia Beverly Hills and then we have The Vibes from Colourpop. And these are like, there's a few Colourpop shimmers that really, really impress me. But this color is not something I'm gonna wear so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I have Dana from Nabla Cosmetics, which is a beautiful, um, like sparkly, I would say topper because it's the same formula as Water Dream, but it has a base color. It has so much beautiful shine and sparkle. I'm gonna keep that one. Then this is from the 35M from Morphine called Hot Stuff. And I can get rid of that one, not really interesting. This one is Fenice from Neve Cosmetics, another one that I pressed. This is also not a color that I'm gonna wear. Um, this is Material Girl from Colourpop and that's also something I'm not gonna wear. That can go. And we have one shimmer left, this guy down here, which is Steampunk by Colourpop, by, by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna get rid of that one too. It's a duochrome but it's, a, it's too dark, I find. So this palette went, went down a lot. I'm very happy with that. And that also comes from the fact that, indeed, I don't wear these shades a lot, but I want to combine then the other, the, the two neutral palettes, the warm and the cool tone, the warm and the neutrals. So very happy with this, very happy with this. Moving on to mauves and burgundies. I still have arm space, so I'm just gonna go down here. I'm gonna go immediately with shimmers then. Um, I call them mauves and burgundies. They're cooler toned neutrals, but I have another cool, cool tone, more gray tone neutral. So um, yeah, these are also shades I don't wear a lot, but oh, gorgeous. This I think is Colourpop, isn't it? No, it's Pink Champagne by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this reminds me a lot of something that I have from Glam Shop or not. Like this one, which is kind of posh. And I think if I have to choose, I would use kind of posh. So I'm gonna get rid of, sadly, Pink Champagne from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's beautiful. This is a marble from Glam Shop that I put in here because it's not really my everyday shade, but the marbles have this amazing sparkly. You really don't see the sparkle, do you, in this setup? I think I'm gonna get rid of it because, um, yeah, I haven't reached for it. This is called Illusion. I haven't reached for it since I put it in this palette. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. So that one goes. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> this one is from Nabla, it's called Glasswork. It's another one of their Celestials, like more of a topper glittery thing. Beautiful, but again, I haven't reached for it. And I'm gonna, let it go. It's a beautiful transparent topper. Here I have Lucky Penny by Makeup Geek. Gonna get rid of that one. Um, Nabla Tribeca. Ah, what a beautiful mid-tone brown. I wish I found these with sparkle, but this simple satin, I mean, I would wear that one with then on top glass work, but it's too much work. <laughs> I don't do that much work in my eyeshadow life. You see, if I just put that Glam Shop sh shade next to it, this is the type of eyeshadow I want to keep. So I'm gonna get rid of Tribeca. And then we have these more burgundy shades. West Star by Colourpop. Again, beautiful shades, but just not that special. And Moscow Sunrise. 
again beautiful shade just not that special and showtime by makeup geek beautiful and even has a, like a silver sparkle in it but again not a color it's a bit too deep for me for a for a metallic so this leaves me like this for this palette very happy with that no actually what am i saying i still need to do the mats in here let me clean up my hand yes let's do these mats so this and this we're keeping oh i didn't even swatch this this is mesmerized by um, makeup geek gorgeous um it's such a unique purpley mauve shimmer gonna keep that until i find something that is better than that which i might in my glam shop collection the mattes this is earl gray by neve cosmetics it's a blush slash eyeshadow and it has a beautiful tone to put in the crease what i would like to do with this is repan it in a smaller pan um Nabla capsize I don't see myself using this then we have unexpected by makeup geek I also don't see myself using this at all it's really just a matter of preference chic, chic happens by Colourpop see that one has a little bit of warmth and I do see myself using that um, Leon by Nabla I've used in the past it's a really beautiful shade and Wild West by Makeup Geek as well and Wild West is a little bit more brown whereas Capsize is a little bit more or Leon sorry is a little bit more purple to some extent now all of these look very similar Cute Alert by Colourpop And then this, these guys are my good old Makeup Geek Cherry Cola. And then this one is Razy by Colourpop. And it's my only this deep purple, I think. I might have something similar from Lethal Cosmetics, though. Um, here. Are these any similar? Well, no. And kind of a bit lighter no I'm gonna keep that razy shade and then these more reddish tones are 35m power slayer and facet by color Bob. I think I'm gonna get rid of power slayer even though it's beautiful it's just very similar it's a little bit more red but I don't think that I need this much variation here we have Americano by Color by Makeup Geek and Noche by Colourpop. I'll pull out my brush again because these don't swatch well. And I also don't really reach for these very much. I think I'm gonna get rid of Americano and let's see how Noche does. I have other dark browns. So Noche is a little bit warmer, more chocolatey. And it, I don't know if how it compares to Corrosion, for example, by Lethal Cosmetics. Actually, very different. And Nocturnal is cooler. So I think I'm going to keep Noche and get rid of Americano. And that should put me in a good place. Very happy now with this palette. Now we can put all of the neutrals in one, probably, which is really great. I have a small parenthesis to make about these Makeup Geek palettes. Um, I haven't touched them in a year or two. However, I have a hard time getting rid of them because, first of all, they give me all the options very easily and in a very, um, yeah, overseeable format. I don't want to break this up because it gives me all the options in a very, very overseeable format. And... They're a great quality and I really like the shadows. So the the things I'm thinking is either I get rid of both just all together and say, okay, um, let them be used by someone who will use them more or I keep them for any, I don't know, I'm also thinking like Carnival with Andrea. Am I gonna do colorful makeup on her? And this would co 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 cover me well. And for the neutrals, yeah, I got rid of a lot of like 
cooler tones that you can see here that I would have here and would be covered. So I think that for this, they will survive this, <laughs> this declutter as well. And that's okay. I love these palettes, so I'm not really sad. Cool toned eyeshadows time. Not much left here, but it's and it's more grays than cool tones. But I have some cool toned neutrals right here that I don't know. I should actually probably pull out. But for example, this one can go. This is friend zone. Very, I don't know, too light for me and not like not deep enough. I like brownie points. I will keep. This is faux fur by Makeup Geek. And see, I only need one of these. Faux fur can go. They are different. Faux fur is more gray than um, brownie points. But then we have Concrete Jungle, which is a deeper gray. And I have Chiaroscuro, which is a more brown gray. gray. And I'm not gonna really wear gray unless I'm doing, well, unless I'm doing Halloween makeup. But then, as I was just saying, don't I have nice grays in here? No, they're more brown grays. Um, okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. Am I gonna keep things just to do Halloween makeup? Maybe. And then I have another black, which is Chiaroscuro by Nabla, and it's a really good black, and it's not that black. Like, it's a more wearable black. This one is Stealth by Makeup Geek, which is a true gray. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm not gonna wear it. And then uh, I have a white, which is an Inglot white, I believe, that I repressed. Yeah, 373. And this one right here, which is Sand Dollar by Makeup Geek. Which can probably go. I don't really see myself using that. These are all eyeshadows that I might use sometime in the future. In, I don't know for what reason. Yeah, Halloween. And yeah, but I don't do Halloween right now. Maybe I will in the future. I don't know. I don't know. I think right now I just want them gone. Then we can move to shimmers. I have Stardust from Makeup Geek, which is like a white shimmer, but that can go. And I have Silver. This is On a Whimsy by Colourpop. Look at that. I'm gonna keep that for a just in case moment. My God, it's so beautiful. Uh, High Wire by Makeup Geek. That one can go if I need a silver. I'll keep one silver. And Graphite by Makeup Geek. That's a nice mid-tone gray. Will I ever wear a mid-tone gray? Unlikely. Sorcery by Makeup Geek. Um, no, that one goes. Let's keep one gray. And these are all duochromes, like blue-brown type shades. This is Insomnia, that is Makeup Geek's blue-brown dupe. This one is Wishful Winking, which is Colourpop's version. It's a bit different, as you can see, in the shift, uh, or in the base, rather. Oh, in the shift and the base. But honestly, if I have to wear one, I'll wear Insomnia. So Wishful Winking goes. This is MAC Blue-Brown that I pressed. Oh, which is beautiful, so I'll, I'll actually get rid of Insomnia because I'll wear the original if I have to. This is an old Essence pigment that I pressed, which is honestly beautiful, but and I never wear it, so that goes as well. There we go, another palette. Toasted. I'm happy. I can actually now condense um, all of these neutrals, like, with the rest, and, and just I'll just put them here to make sure they get in the right palette. Um, the white as well, I guess. I don't know, it feels so out of place. I'll deal with that when I do the organizing part of this exercise. The next big palette that I have is the green one. And I actually want to have my Lethal Cosmetics greens next to me. And for shimmers, my Glam Shop greens next to me because it gets really difficult to choose what to keep when I have a lot of shimmers somewhere else. And here I have some multi-chromes from Davina Cosmetics and Cleona Cosmetics, but I think these are so unique that they can't really be compared with these greens. Okay, let's take a look. 
difficult, so difficult. I already know I can get rid of short thing because I don't really wear seafoam green in my crease anymore or ever. The rest is difficult. This dual chrome is Havoc by uh, Makeup Geek and um, I think I can get rid of it. I have nicer dual chromes uh, from Glam Shop that I'm gonna keep. This is Standout by Morphe. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> This is a, a, a green with a uh, copper glitter on top. I wish I could show you. This is beautiful, keeping that. This one is Venom from Makeup Geek. And I think I have better greens now. Do I? Don't read, yeah. And then this is another, I think this is Jester. No, Take Two from Makeup Geek. Let's go hunt for dupes of these, whether I want to keep them or not, because they seem, they're like quite traditional shimmers. And I think I want more special things. Like this guy right here from Glam Shop, this is Bucks. And it's one of the most beautiful greens I own in my life, but it's a different vibe, completely different vibe. I honestly don't have anything else like those two. It seems like crazy, crazy for me. Also not in my Tami Tanuka ones. So it looks like we're keeping them. Um, I'll maybe... I don't know. Where would all my greens be? Maybe in this guy. Oh, there, she, there he is, one. Oh, this has the worst formula, I remember. Oh yeah, this one has the worst formula. So I'm definitely not gonna declutter singles for this formula. Um, so crumbly. <laughs> it's a one shade in the smoke sessions that's not good. But that's the family that I'm looking for, like these olive green shimmers. Do I have something in Gemini? Different. Different, more gold. Different, more green. And... I don't think there's anything in here. And the other thing is maybe the earthy palette. But this one has such underwhelming greens, to be honest, like shimmers, in the sense that there's not a lot of color choices. But this one is that shade that I'm looking for in a better formula. So I'm gonna keep this one. And you can see this one right here is from Earthy, and these are the two Makeup Geek ones. I think I can get rid of these now. I won't have any similar thing in my singles, but that's okay with me. This guy right here is Side of Olives from Colored Rain. It's still a very beautiful green shimmer. I'm gonna keep that one. And here I have Green Valley by Colored Rain from the Safari palette. Still very beautiful, but if I look at Bucks, for example, I think that's prettier. They are a little bit different. I'm gonna keep them both. This is Citron by Nabla. The formula of this isn't stellar. And it's quite similar. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Finally, at the end, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, and I can also swatch, I guess this Druid also falls into this category from um, Glam Shop. And you can see how sparkly and beautiful that is. So I'd rather keep that. I have one more from, oh, this is very green green. Don't really have that grass green in my round pan collection. I also got a bit more cool toned shimmer green here from uh, Glam Shop. It's the shade Shiny Basil uh, recently. And that's also a very beautiful, shiny eyeshadow. And I have a few more shimmers here. Um, Fantasy by Makeup Geek. See, it's a beautiful shade, but it is so underwhelming in terms of sparkle. I'm gonna keep it though. This one right here is a duochrome, it's Neve Matcha. It's a duochrome uh, mint lime type of shade. 
and I think I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. I repanned it, it was in these ginormous Nebe Cosmetics pans. A few more shimmers, this guy right here. I, I, I don't see myself using it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, Epic by Makeup Geek. It's a beautiful forest green shimmer. But for that, I really do have some beautiful shades here from Glam Shop, and I think I'm gonna get rid of that as well. This one is from Tami Tanuka, one, the one pulling into the abyss. Oh, this is stunning, glorious. I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is Houdini by Makeup Geek, simply because it's very dark and I'm not gonna wear it. Good. And we did the shimmers. Oh, except for this one, which is a beautiful lime green that I don't have in any other formula. Which I'm gonna keep. It's called Mary Jane by Colourpop. It's in the all green palette, but I bought the single because it's the only one single that is that color that I found. Okay, matte greens. Um, I pulled out the Earthy palette again because there's a lot of matte greens in here that I use quite a lot and that was kind of the idea of me buying this palette because it has the matte greens and the neutrals and I like them but you can see what I use like this one, this one, this one, this one sometimes. Um, it's not a lot of the bright greens but I don't want to keep singles and bright greens that I will not be using. So let's start with these gorgeous, what are these called actually? I don't know the but like citrusy no I don't remember the name of the thing so this is Kwasniak um, from Glam Shop the first one and the second one is from the 35M I think I can keep the first one and get rid of the second it's a bit more muted and a little bit darker but it's not that big of a difference and then I also have like these little cosmetics ones that are different That's, this one is much lighter for example um, here a little bit more olivey green. This is a nice one actually. This one is, I guess, marinated piece by Glam by Glam Shop. It's a very nice color, and I'll compare it with. Yeah, that's not a marinated pea color at all. Let me see. Get some Glam Shop ones on there as well. They're much more like foresty greens, let's say. I've used these, they're part of my Project 10 pan, these Glam Shop shadows. And um, yeah, I need to figure out how much I wanna keep them. The mattes, I think, more than the shimmers because I like them more. But I am happy I have that marinated pea color there. Uh, this is Colored Rain, Colored Rain Congo Basin, which is quite a unique shade in my collection. You can see even compared to these two from um, Lethal Cosmetics, this is quite a bit more pigmented and yellow as a shade. I love that. Radical by Nabla Cosmetics. There we pull more the gray in, more the wearable, I would, uh, some would say. This is High Tea by Makeup Geek. This I don't think I actually need to keep. It's not a shade that I see myself using. And then we've had all of these. And this is an Inglot shade, this really bright green, it's 288. I actually find myself using this for more, I don't know, special um, type of makeups, not a lot, but it's a nice shade. This is a Lethal Cosmetics one that I still didn't swatch, and this is Lethal Cosmetics, more of a foresty green that I wanted to swatch because we're going into the foresty greens. Um, Beautiful Inglot 331, and I have Inglot 333 here as well. I always had a bit of a hard time with these two because they're, you can see one's brighter and one's darker. Different, right? Then uh, Color Drain Level Up from their Vivid Brights. Such great formulas, <laughs> can't swatch them now, but with a the brush they perform really well. And this is also a bright forest green. Do I need all three of these? Probably not. Let me get a brush into this shadow, oh my god. Um, last time I used it, I had absolutely no problem uh, building it up on the eyes. But 
I definitely don't need all three. I know that the Inglot ones are firm favorites, um, but I also know, know I always loved this, the colored rain, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't need it if I have the other two. Then we go more uh, into the teal zone, and this is Conjure Up by Colourpop. You can see it has more of a blue undertone. And I guess I'm done with this palette. Then this guy is Color Drain Squad. I use this a lot. A beautiful, deeper teal. Again, these don't are not swatching great, uh, but they perform always really well on the eyes. Um, then Troll by Glam Shop. That's, we're going really more petrol, great petrol blue, I guess. And this one is Inglot 340. And that's darker and grayer. Love these all. And then I have Envy by Divina Cosmetics here, which is more of the seafoam greeny shade. I think I'm happy with this range of green mattes, this range of green mattes. And I don't think I have any more, um, I have some greens here that I was gonna depot, for example, from the green palette of Glam Shop, but I wasn't really gonna keep any of the mattes, even though they swatch really nicely. Um, like, I don't really need that one because I have these ones. This is more of a brownie shade, and this is more of a neony shade. This neon is quite unique, but it doesn't perform the best, best. But it's quite difficult to make these, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna add these to this palette. If I do, I don't think I go dupe myself very much. Um, maybe I'm not keeping this dark one because of these shades that I already have. And the this green isn't really adding anything much more than, for example, my Lethal Cosmetics one does. Um, this for this like grass green, so I might not these I need to so Depot and that closes it up for the greens. I think yes can move on to other colors next up, let's do some blues and This is so that I like I haven't worn blue eyeshadow in so long First thing that I see is I think I'm getting rid of this colored rain jet set. This is from their vivid brights um, they have such a good range of blues, but I really don't wear blue eyeshadow much, if not at all. Yet, look at how much blue eyeshadow I have. I think that's a bit too much. Um, for example, I just see I have another white matte that we just swatched earlier, the Inglot one. Why do I need two white mattes? Alice. Um, that is really not the point. But anyways, let's get into these ones. Um, I have a lot of uh, Lethal Cosmetics, blues, and uh, a little bit of miscellaneous. This Nabla ones are staying, they're so good and beautiful, and especially the deep one is one that I use more often, because if I do blue eyeshadow, I do it quite neutral or deeper, more navy. This is Blue Velvet, and this is New Heaven. New Heaven. Then... Um, this guy right here is more of a tealy blue. This is Inglot 338. And it reminds me now to swatch these guys from Lethal Cosmetics. This one's more green than that. And then I have these sky blues that, oh my God, do I need so many sky blue shades? Definitely not. What, um, what did I do? Why did I buy so many sky blue eyeshadows? I think I'm gonna get rid of them, like here right now um, I'm gonna maybe keep the more um, greeny one get rid of these two for sure I think this one as well because it's a more like of a I don't I'm never gonna wear this <laughs> it's funny how I wanted these eyeshadows per se but I'm never gonna wear them and um, yeah I think these three will go. Then I have these mattes right here, which are also like, when am I ever gonna wear sky blue eyeshadows? I think I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of this one just because of personal preference, I would guess. And then I have this dark blue, which is much more my jam. 
which is Color Drain Yacht Life. So actually, I'm going to get rid of this one as well and just keep that. And then it leaves me with the shimmers. <laughs> My fingers are so stained. This one right here from Nabla Cosmetics is beautiful. It's called Virgin Island. It has this sparkle in it that is really gorgeous. This one right here is, I'm gonna say Pegasus, yeah, from Makeup Geek. You remember when we would wear, I don't know, neutral eyeshadow with this in the inner corner, 2017? Jaclyn Hill time, yeah. I don't think I can get rid of it because of that reason. And I have a few Little Cosmetics ones that are also in the same family. Now, of these two, do I need both? No. And I think I'm gonna keep the lightest one because then I can offset it with the other one. So this one's gonna go. Then we can go more blue blue. This is from Tami Tanuka. It's a pigment that I pressed that is a bit, I, I need a glitter glue to put it on, but it's like glitter, blue glitter pretty much. It's beautiful, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't see myself using it really. These two blues are Blew My Mind by Makeup Geek and Quantum Sleep by Colourpop. And Blew My Mind is like the perfect blue shimmer. And this one is instead a little bit of more of that dark night color. I'm gonna get rid of this one and only keep Blew My Mind. So that narrows down, narrows down my blues by a lot. Now let's see what I have left here. This guy right here, that, yeah, I don't think I need to keep this, these. <laughs> and then I have some more tealy, teal shades. This is beautiful formula from, uh, this is Lucid from Lethal Cosmetics. Usually their shimmers are not that exciting, are the older formulas at least, but that one's really beautiful. This one's really pretty. Now, did I keep anything in my green palette that is similar? No, not at all. And then this one that is a real more blue, blue. Again, I think I'm gonna keep these two, yeah, these three shimmers. So that cuts it down quite a bit. I'm also gonna make an exact decision and get rid of the white mat because I already have one white mat. How many white mats do I need, right? That's better much better with blues how many blues do i need since i don't wear blue if you wear blue you can have a lot of blues why not next up let's do my yellows and mustardy shades i don't have a lot of yellows but i did wear a lot of them in uh, the summer and actually i was in the middle of doing this which was <laughs> depotting my yellow palette from um glam shop and in that process of using this a lot i discovered that i do really like these yellows mattes better than this one which is good because now it broke yeah <laughs> so um yeah that's that but that is going to give me the opportunity to actually swatch the shimmers that i wanted to keep and decide which ones to actually keep so let's start with some yellow swatches shall we um first with a butter yellow from uh, Inglot that I pressed. It's number 286. Not that I ever see myself using this, to be honest. So I, I think I'm gonna get it, let it go. Um, this one right here is Courtney by um, Divina Cosmetics. This was a gift from Mariam and it's a beautiful color. I've wanted it for so long. It's like this mustard yellow shade that is so unique. And uh, I'm gonna also swatch here my yellows from Lethal Cosmetics. This is a nice pastel yellow, and this is a little bit more of a sunny yellow. Um, I think I'm gonna keep both of those. Then for yellow yellows, I have this one from Colored Rain, which is called Lemon Drop, love it. And then Sugar Pill Buttercup, I think it's called, which is a little bit different actually. And I love them both, and I'm gonna keep them as my yellow yellow. Um, I don't think you can tell from a swatch the difference, but actually I think you can. The difference in formula, 
the Glam Shop is a little bit more powdery and thinner. It's It looks brighter, but on the eye, it goes on a little bit more translucent. So I prefer the other two on the eye than that one. Then if we move more into the sandy mustardy shades, there's quite a few. This is Paper Tiger by Colourpop. Haven't worn this in a long time. And I feel like I have some similar shades. Hmm. Like this one and this one are similar. This one is Desert Sands by Makeup Geek and this one is Caramel by Nabla. This one right here is Preppy by Makeup Geek. And then we have, I think this is Early Bird, no, Chickadee. And then this is Tonka, I wanna say, yeah, from Neve Cosmetics. I use this as a blush sometimes as well. Um, do I want to get rid of one of these? Probably one of these two. I think I'm gonna get rid of Caramel by Nabla Cosmetics and keep uh, these four, five, six mattes. Um, next up is Shimmers and this is a Cleona Duochrome from their regular collection. It's called Soul Beautiful, quite nice. Um, my Makeup Geek, I have Fortune Teller and Untamed, which is here. I loved these to pieces, so I have a very hard time thinking of letting them go. And they're still such a good metallic formula that I still look at and I think it's great. But to be honest, I have not used these shades in a long time. But they're also beautiful. How can I get rid of any of them? Wow. What is that? That is like Color Drain Lioness from the Safari palette. It's like molten metal. It's so incredible. <laughs> Honestly, any of these I have a hard time getting rid of. This one right here, for example, I think this can go. This is Night Show by Colourpop. Then I have Two Birds by Colourpop. Pretty, but nothing special. And Golden Olive by Coloured Rain. Which is gorgeous, definitely staying. And then of these guys that I wanted to keep from um, this palette. Oh, beautiful. Like so. I think these are all quite unique enough. This one is a bit of a more acidic green, um, yellow and then this one is more of a yellow yellow. Hmm. I think I want to keep them all, to be honest. I have two more yellows actually from Glam Shop hanging around. This one and this one. This is Flare. The first one was Limonada, which is actually the shade from here that I really love. So Limonada is definitely a yes and Flare is also a yes, which makes me think that I don't need these two. So I'm only gonna keep this one and this one from this palette. That's good to know. This one's already loose. And this one. Is now loose. Ooh! They dunked my nails in it. Again. Alice. <laughs> I'll press it properly. But at least I know which two shades I want to keep. And that can go in the trash. <laughs> because it's destroyed. So here are my yellows, and this is the yellow palette that I'm keeping. Let's move on to orange. I didn't know I had so many shimmery Glam Shop oranges, and I have a few here from uh, Lethal Cosmetics as well in, uh, in mattes. So let's get through these as well. You can see there's a bit of orange and a little bit of like more burnt shades. Um, let's start with mattes. A little bit of a lighter oranges right here. Love them both. Um, I don't really use a lot of orange, I must say, actually, now that I think about it or talk about it. And I have a lot of them compared to the amount that I use them. But they're all so different and beautiful, aren't they? 
just say yes <laughs> I guess um, goodness how can I choose out of these they all look so amazing I don't know this is from glam shop this one is colored rain clay from the um, that's the last two I swatched I almost feel like what is it the third one that I swatched which is this one feels like the most this is cannonball by Colourpop is it no that feels like it's this one what did I swatch that's this one yeah so cannonball is this one what was the third one I swatched that one right here is similar to something I already have in the other warm neutrals palette ah sorry brain is being difficult that's an Inglot one I think yeah 283 goodness how can I choose this one is Paprika by Nabla also very nice oh I can't choose I really cannot choose among these do you see them they're all different they're so beautiful and then I still have the two red ones more red zones here and here I really cannot choose out of these so sorry I think I'm keeping keeping them all for someone who doesn't wear orange this is a lot of orange to have though I can't choose the only one that I'm thinking that I'd like to get rid of is this one actually that's this one from uh, lethal cosmetics that's called spawn but I also know I really like spawn I've used it a lot I, was, I think for now I'm just gonna keep them all wow oh and I then I have also still this guy from Lamp Crime Flame Bright also beautiful pure orange I think I'm gonna keep them all you guys kind of need to rearrange them into more of my neutral palettes to use them but let's see the shimmers this one is from the 35M palette of Morphe this one is from the Sapphire Rain. Oh my goodness, they're both so gorgeous. Um, this one is Passion Orange. I think this is something I um, did myself. I pressed myself. Oh goodness, what is this gorgeousness? I think this is Glam Shop, isn't it? Yeah, Ravia. Just such a beautiful, shimmery, sparkly topper. This one's also Glam Shop, not an orange. It's called Techno Peach. That looks much more of a pink than an orange, but it was in here. This is a dark base with a very nice shift, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is Crucible Copper, something I pressed myself. And then we have this guy right here. And this guy right here I actually the first one was flamethrower by makeup geek and the second one is Millie by Colourpop I'm gonna get rid of Millie I think and now we're left with these magic things which are, seem to be all different from the ones that I already have though which is great these are all from glam shop this is even a multi-chrome of theirs which has a beautiful green shift actually can't really show you in this my arm doesn't bend that way so yeah I don't know if I can show you in any better way um, all the glam shop are gorgeous and I think that's where it's gonna end at I'm not gonna get rid of anything else and I just should wear more orange eyeshadow hmm. I'm actually gonna put these in here so that they're where they're supposed to be. This one really isn't where it's supposed to be. And this is more of a multi-chrome. Um, you can see that the shift is a little bit all over the place. So um, I'm going to keep this with my other special shades. But the orange palette is going to stay very busy. I'm thinking whether there's some similarity with this shade by Lethal Cosmetics that I should take into account. Yes, actually, this one's very similar to Millie that I just got rid of, so that's fine. The orange is staying as is, pretty much. Let's move on to corals while I have this Lethal Cosmetics palette open. Um, I use these uh, 
pinky corals from Lethal Cosmetics a lot and I like them also a lot especially these two so I'm gonna see how the rest that I have compared compares oh that's beautiful is that pumpkin from Makeup Geek they're also close these feel just they're they're like a little bit more neutral uh, than uh, these ones like Imperial and pumpkin by Makeup Geek seem quite similar to me so I'm gonna get rid of Imperial keep these two and this one is more of a pinky tone coral and then we go into the more neon ones and again when am I ever gonna wear these they're beautiful but do I need all of these neon eyeshadows probably not so let me get rid of something this is color drain crushing cruise and crushing crushing from the vivid brights then slim fit by color pop and then color drain splash I'm thinking of keeping splash that's this third one because it's it has a bit more depth and it's more of a like tomato-y color I'm gonna get rid of the more the more real neon ones even though maybe I should keep the more real neon ones I'm gonna get rid of slim fit for sure that's the middle one and then between these two I'm not sure what to do I'm gonna get rid of the lighter one just don't see myself using it very much and then shimmers from lethal cosmetics I have these two well, these are actually showing up or at least the first one very pink the second one is more of the coral that we're looking at right now and then I have this guy and this guy here which don't look coral to me at all this one is thank you next by Colourpop I, this one has a bit of an orange to coral shift that's why I see it's orange <laughs> or copper to coral shift and this one is Salamander by um, Cleona Cosmetics and I have a few yeah, this Techno Peach that I showed you earlier from Glam Shop, which actually makes me think that I should kind of get rid of this shade by Lethal Cosmetics, which is the shade Backdraft. Hoppa. There we go. That one can go because this one and this one, I do prefer this one. And then I have the shade Bella by Glam Shop that I think could fit here. Maybe it has a, still a bit of a pinker uh, base, but it has an amaz amazing, amazing, like, shiny glow to it. So, those are all staying, it looks like. And then I have the lighter ones. These are, this is like a duochrome. Never use it. This is Prism by Makeup Geek. It's gonna go. This is Ringer by Colourpop. And then I have this guy and this guy. They all are not that interesting to me. These were Ready or Yacht from Colourpop and something I pressed and yeah, Bringer. I think I'm not gonna get rid of all of these because I swatched earlier, right? Something that was similar. Is it this one? And this one has the pink shift. This one is lighter. Okay, maybe I don't have anything similar to these, but maybe I should keep one. I'll keep Ready or Yacht by Colourpop, and the rest I'll get rid of. That seems fair. Next up is pinks, another category that I don't really wear. And as you can see also, I don't really have a lot of pinks um, that are true pinks. These are all very wearable pinks that I actually do kind of want to wear. To some extent and then i have some a bit crazy pinks from glam shop and i have a few deeper shades from um more middle shades from lethal cosmetics so let's take a look starting with sorbet by makeup geek this is a light shade again it's a light pink that i don't see myself using so that can go then we have 
say I do, I use these two shades a lot in my duping the vibes or yeah, just dupe palettes that I make. So this pink I think I might keep for a pink eye look. And then I have, this is more of a purpley pink from Lethal Cosmetics as light pinks. Then we immediately go into the neutrals, let's say. And these are all shades that are really wearable and for some people really every day and that I occasionally wear. And as you can see, they have different undertones. Um, maybe this third and second or fourth and second are not that different from each other. I have this is Tinsel Down from Colourpop and this is Love Letter by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think I'm gonna get rid of Tinsel Town and keep Love Letter. Love Letter was in uh, Modern Renaissance, but they made it a single. And then I have these two from Lethal Cosmetics that I also, oh goodness, they're so similar to Love Letter. Ah, uh, that I also wear like a two wear. When I'm looking for this type of shades, I usually go into my Lethal singles. And these are Cascade and Terminus. I don't think I'm ready to get rid of, to, to let go of any of these yet. So they're gonna stay. These are also very nice neutrals from Nabla Cosmetics. This formula, these are the feather mats and they're all so amazing. I can recommend the formula to anybody. I love it. Um, so I think these are gonna stay as my mats. The only things that I see double is really this one but Love Letter and this one from Lethal Cosmetics are both very nice. Thinking whether I'm ever gonna use this middle one, which is this one right here. Stay golden. I'm gonna keep it for now. And then I have the more pinky pinks here, or like more bright pinks that I honestly keep for what if. And they're all so beautiful. <laughs> like, how can you not keep them? So these are um, Sandbar by Colourpop and this is Coloured Rain Party Drip. I'm thinking that I'm not gonna use Party Drip. And this is Seize the Day from Colourpop, the first one. And the last one is Latchkey by Colourpop. This is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna keep these, all of these, <laughs> and it is what it is. Then let's do some shimmers. Beautiful, beautiful. Somewhat not so impressive. This is Bouquet Toss by Colourpop. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Mm. This one is somewhat underwhelming. It's quite neutral, actually. It's called Nostalgic by Makeup Geek. I like this one better, which I think is from Colourpop. Yeah, Vivacious, so I'm gonna keep this one instead of the Makeup Geek one. Um, then what do we have? This guy right here, and this guy right here. They're both really nicely performing. It's uh, Misty by Colourpop and Coral Reef by Neve Cosmetics. I'm thinking of whether I want to keep Coral Reef at all because it's not a shade that I would wear normally. It's nice mauve, but, or like, I don't know, what is it, a dusty rose? I also have some Lethal Cosmetics shimmers right here that are pinks. And these Galan Shop ones. that are absolutely fabulous. And crazy also, like what is this one? I think this was cotton candy something, maybe? I only have it in the in the Polish name. And it's a, like a duochrome peach to this crazy cool pink. 
And one more I have is this one, which is like a darker. Yeah, so between this Lethal Cosmetics and Coral Reef, I'll keep the Lethal Cosmetics one. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is Earthshine by Colourpop, which is this one. It's a beautiful duochrome, but I don't really wear it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And the rest can stay. Okay, here we go. Purples. Very light purple. Don't know what I would do with this one, to be honest. This is Miniovka from the Glam Shop Remix palette. It's not something I own, but also not something I wear, so that can go. Um, these are actually more pinks, but they're like real purpley pinks. Also not shades I would wear. I don't know why I have all of these eyeshadows. <laughs> this is also from the Remix palette from Glam Shop. This is Colored Rain Cute. I don't know. That looks cute. It actually looks like a nice shade. Um, more lighter purples. This is a more dusty purple. Reminds me of these ones I have here from uh, Lethal Cosmetics. Um, which are different still. They are all different. Do I need them all? Probably not, right? I don't know. Let's continue swatching. Ooh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Much more muted and let's say wearable, but still purple. Um, this guy right here, oxidized on the top. Oh, this is so beautiful. This one is so gorgeous. This is Color Drain Perp Smurf. Oh, they're not liking where they're at. I think it's because of these Nabla Cosmetics eyeshadows. But already, for example, do I need one, two, and three? I think these two look quite similar. This is Sasanka by a Glam Shop, and this is Vibes by colored rain I was so I remember using Sasanka me so impressed with that hmm. that one I swatched we're at this one then different <laughs> I definitely don't need all these purples especially like these three are so similar what do we have? Inglot 325, Nabla, Eresia. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And this one is Try Me by Colourpop. I think I'm gonna get rid of Try Me as well. And from Lethal Cosmetics, I have two more, which look also very similar in the pan, but they're quite different. I'm gonna get rid of this more dusk, dusty purple shade that I'm not gonna wear. This one is called Night Calm. And then I'm left with these very dark purples. Oh, this one doesn't pick up really very well, does it? I think this is Motown by Makeup Geek, could it be? Yes, gonna get rid of that one. I remember it was a headache to apply. And this one is a very dark shade that I don't think I need, to be honest. It's taboo. So these are gonna go, and I'm gonna be left with a ton of these mid-tones, though, that I'm not sure I need in my life. I guess for this round of declutter, it will be fine. <laughs> Let's not be too ambitious. Also, for someone who does not wear purple, I think this is still a ton of purple, but Let's get through the shimmers. Maybe we'll figure something else out there. <laughs> um, a nice lilac right there. But I have these ones from Glam Shop that I prefer, I think. These are marble eyeshadows that they sent me. And as much as it's a little bit of a harder 
um, formula to use, you can see the difference in shine is incredible. And um, especially this one is, I think it's called Lilac. Oh no, this is Petardia, Petarda from the Glam Shop Remix palette. Where is Lilac then? Probably still in my more neutral ones. I like this one better than this. So this one was Pillow Dog by Makeup Geek. It's gorgeous though, like it works really well still. Mm. This one is from Nabla Cosmetics. Oh, still a gorgeous shade. Who are you? Alchemy, still so beautiful. And definitely a keep. Let me finish these Glam Shop ones. And Ficus right here, which is oh, so stunning. So deep and gorgeous. It goes like purple to periwinkle, I guess. Also stunning. And I have this guy right here still, which is much more neutral. What is this? This is Mr. Sandman by Colourbomb. Still gorgeous. Need to put it with my more neutral shades though, otherwise I will not be using it. A light purple I have here is Synth by Lethal Cosmetics, which is still so, so beautiful as well. Did I say beautiful enough times today? Probably not. And then we go in the darker purples that are even more berry than purples. I mean, do I need all of these? <laughs> Maybe not. I'm not particularly attracted to this guy. This is from the 35M palette. Just too deep probably for me. This guy right here is a Tami Tanuka pigment, I believe, that I pressed. Can go. She who swirls in velvet pearls. It's uh, gorgeous. It needs a, a glitter glue, but it's really, really beautiful. Just haven't used it in forever. And this guy, which is Katleya, which I think I'm finally getting going to get rid of because... I don't wear it. It's a color that was discontinued by Nabla, but that has been on everybody's hearts. <laughs> in everybody's hearts, let's say. And then from Lethal Cosmetics, I also still have Spirit, which is this true royal purple, I guess. And uh, this pink duochrome that I'm thinking of letting go of. I don't have anything like it, but I really don't use it, so. This one here is Enigma, it's gonna go. Okay, that is much better for a purple palette for a non-purple lover, I would say. I think I'm gonna get rid of this shade as well. It's called Paradiso by Colourpop. And the final palette I have to declutter is my reds. There they are, not many. And I'm not sure if I have any more red Singles now that I look at it. Okay, maybe something down here. Like this one would fit there probably. This one would fit there probably. That's about it. Um another category of sheets that I don't really wear, but I when I want to wear them, I want to have good ones. So my favorite reds are these two. Love Plus by uh Sugar Bell, which is this one, and this blood red shade that's called, I don't remember, Sauce from Colored Rain, the Vivid Pigments. These two are staying. They're the only two bright reds that I need. Gorgeous. Then, a little bit deeper and more muted is Inglot 296, and then we go brighter and more tomato-y with this, I think this is Colourpop something, which is more neon, actually. Um, of a shade, and that's O Shape. Beautiful. Deeper still is this Inglot shade, which I also really like to use, 301. Um, it's a beautiful deep red. It goes in a bit into the browns, maybe. This is Fahrenheit by Nabla Cosmetics. I think I'm gonna finally get rid of that one. Haven't used it in a while. Um, then I have Ember by Nab uh, Neve Cosmetics can also be used as a blush. It's a nice 
shade. It's the fact that it can be used as a blush has always tricked me into keeping it. And the fact that it's limited edition and you can't get it anymore. Mm. But I have, I really have not used it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. So intense of a process, you guys. Then some of my favorite red shimmers. It, this one is Blazed by Divina Cosmetics. <laughs> look, look at that. It's kind of like the only red you need in your life. Um, then we have Compilation by Navi Cosmetics. This was a loose pigment. Was it? I think it was a loose pigment that I pressed. Not not a big pan that I repanned. Also absolutely stunning. Much more like on the wearable side. This is from Makeup Geek um, called Curtain Call. A little bit of a deeper um, red right there. Then we have another Divina shade. Is it? Yeah, Fierce, which is a darker base with a more orangey um, shift. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I don't see myself using it really. It's quite deep as a shimmer. Um, Hot Step Mama is a pigment that I pressed. Ooh, also stunning. Very pretty. It's a little bit of a different undertone than Compilation and Blazed. And this guy is also something I pressed that I don't have a name for. Um, but again, quite deep. It's probably one of the Crucibles at this point. I'm gonna get rid of that one too. And these are the two Glam Shop shades. This one is Fashion for Success. Yeah. And this one is a marble with a red base and a lot of sparkle that I see from here is just more on the gold side. This one is a turbo glow called Vino Musu... Musuyatze? I don't know, something with wine. And actually that's not, it should be with the oranges probably, but it's a beautiful multi sparkle orangey shade. <laughs> so I think this is all that I'm gonna keep for my reds which I'm gonna combine with my oranges, I think. Um, or maybe not, because it won't fit. Actually, no, it won't fit. But I'm gonna try to figure out how to combine these because a lot of the palettes now are half empty. So, we went through my whole single eyeshadow collection, guys. That was not a small feat. If you're still here, thank you. If I decided to split it into, still thank you. I didn't go and swatch through all of my Glam Shop eyeshadows and I would suggest that if you're curious about these, you go see the videos that I posted on, on them. I still haven't like swatched all of the ones, the newer ones that I have. So I have this palette that has newer shades to me and this palette has newer shades to me, my latest orders, let's say. I also didn't swatch my Cleona and Davina special shades, but that's because they're so unique that I'm not gonna declutter them. Um, and my Tami Tanuka special shades that I pressed that are in this palette I didn't touch either and um, I'll probably split these into their colorful um, palettes so that I will use them more. Now um, I'm still wondering how to organize these eyeshadows because I see people organizing mattes and then per color and shimmers and then per color, whereas I have co per color and that's it. And I don't know what I want to do yet. If you have any suggestion or tips, please let me know down in the comments below. And um, let's take a look at what we got rid of today. I think I'm quite happy. There's quite a lot of stuff that is um, going. And again, if you're interested in any of these, um, some of them, like the Lethal Cosmetics ones, I'd probably like to sell more than gift, but there's a lot of, of older eyeshadows that I'm happy to gift um, and just charge shipping for, for example. Um, so if you're interested, let me know. Here we are. This is all I'm getting rid of today. Quite pleased with that. I think it's... Uh, it's a nice array. It's also, I see a lot of colors that I don't wear anymore or that I'm not really that interested in. So I'm very happy about that. I'm getting doubts about these cool toned neutrals. 
but if I got rid of them, there was a reason, right? So <laughs> this is what I'm getting rid of today. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've ever done something like this before and uh, how traumatic for your soul this was because these are my babies. It's actually really hard to let them go. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.